What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will replace the meta human that we built in the previous episode with our mannequin. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is open up our Unreal project and go into window and open Quixel Bridge. This is because our meta humans will be integrated with our Quixel Bridge and we can import it through here. Now, very important, make sure that you are signed in with the same account that you created your MetaHuman on in the previous episode. And now what we need to do is go into here where it says uh, kind of this mm, heart icon and sorry, not the heart icon, but on here, the uh, MetaHuman's uh, kind of icon, right? A person. And then we're going to go into the My MetaHuman section. And then on there, you will see that we have the MetaHumans that we have built. In this case, I have here Jason from the previous episode. And this is the one that I want to import into my project. So with this selected, we just need to go ahead and select a quality. In this case, I'm going to aim for medium. And this is just, you know, so it will be a bit more uh, optimized. It will run a bit better because I don't need the max quality for this series but if you want to go ahead and crank this up for your project and put it on highest go ahead and now let's go ahead and just click download and let's wait a bit depending on the quality and how many things you have on your meta human this will take a bit longer or it will be pretty fast let's see just go ahead you know grab a cup of coffee see other tutorials of my channel and then come back Okay, as you can see, it has already downloaded. There's a tick, right? It says downloaded. And now I have the button available to do, you know, add it, to import it to the project. So let's go ahead and click on this button. Now this might also take a bit. So again, be patient, okay? Now in this case, I press add. I waited like two seconds. It was very quick. And I added a folder called MetaHumans, but it was too quick and there's things missing. So just in case, what I did was click again the add button. As you can see now, it is saying scanning existing assets. There's like missing plugins uh, appearing and so on. So make sure, just in case, if the first iteration was very quick, um, to click again. Because you can see now it is important more things. So now it has imported and we have some things as enabling this plugin. So let's click. And then also live link, let's enable this. And then we will have an option to restart the editor. We can close this. Uh, we start the editor because it needs to uh, enable the plugins. So <clears throat> right after this, goes ahead and compiles. Let me go ahead and click restart now. Okay, so the project has restarted. As you can see, now we have a new folder called MetaHuman. So let's double click on this. You will see a common and a one for the specific MetaHuman that we imported. In my case, it is JSON. So let's open this up. And now we have a blueprint with the MetaHuman. So let's quickly double click on this. And we will let things load. And you will see uh, the MetaHuman. Now, we are not going to be using this blueprint, okay? We're going to copy some things from this blueprint and move them into our actual player blueprint that we have and you know we are using uh, so basically go ahead and just open up this blueprint once again it's pretty heavy so it might take a bit uh to open up okay there we go it has opened and once again we have another plugin that just appeared anyway let's click on enable missing and we probably should restart yes Again, we need to restart now, so let's select it. I don't know why it didn't appear before, um, but you know, now that we have opened the blueprint, this last plugin that we need to enable, so click restart again. And okay, I have restarted the project, have opened once again the MetaHuman blueprint, and boom, we have it here. Now, it will still be loading some, you know, assets and textures and so on, so, you know, be patient, but now I have it here. And basically, you can see that a MetaHuman is built a bit differently. We have separate body parts. It's not just a whole mesh. We have, you know, the feet, the legs, the torso, the face, the eyelashes, the hair, the mustache, and so on. With a lot of components, so we can, you know, change the LODs and optimize it better, and so on. So, 
what we need to do is copy all of these components which are the different body parts into our player blueprint and then make them sync up with our mesh that we're using right now for the player but before that we need to sign a skeleton for this mesh okay we need to sign the mannequin skeleton so for this what we're going to do is inside of the metahumans folder go and in this button filter by skeletal mesh and now do we have a lot of different you know um meshes basically but just in case i always uh, prefer to do it instead of the json folder okay again skeletal mesh and now i will make sure it is, is this one okay so do it on the metahuman uh, folder not in the main metahuman so we are making sure that we are selecting the correct one it will be this one m medium uh nrw but i don't know if it stands for medium just med okay so just right click on this skeleton or skeleton mesh go up into skeleton and select assign skeleton and now we will have all of these options now we need to be very careful with this because this can be you know broken very easily basically what we need to do is find the mannequin skeleton so search for man and then you can see that we have a few of them the one that we are interested in is going to be the first one the one that only says sk mannequin okay it's very important do not select the other ones they have missing bones we are interested in the um upper one which just says sk mannequin for unreal engine 5 with that is very important that's why i'm emphasizing it a lot then click on accept all this yes by default okay and now it will be assigning the skeleton of our mannequin that we have you know of our animations and everything on into this metahuman body so if now we wait a few seconds there we go we now go ahead and save and press play let's make sure that all you know the animations still work which they do you know just making sure okay guys yes okay everything still worked <laughs> um and now we can remove the um you know tag searching and we can open up once again the json blueprint okay go to the viewport we have it here and now we also need to go and open up our player blueprint they put this one to the left <clears throat> go to the viewport so what we would do is now go ahead and select this body part so the body the feet the legs the torso and the face we will leave all the grooms all of the hair and so on and also the lod's for later just go ahead and copy with ctrl c go select the mesh paste with ctrl v and now just drag everything instead of the mesh because it didn't uh, apply as a child and very important they have to be a child of mesh which is our main character because we will say that this body parts will match the parents animations okay that's what we're doing so now with this let's select the torso first and just click on this reset button so it will be on place and then we will do the same with the other ones i believe that we can do all of them at once make sure to not select the rifle click on reset reset and boom now we have here the body part but of course it's stationary so what we want to do is go to the construction script which will also um be executed uh, every time that it is rendered in engine and not only when we press play okay and on here what we want to do is add this node which is the set leader post component and let's just click on this and now just uh, remove the legs okay and the new leader bone component will basically be our mesh okay this is going to be our leader which is the parent and we want then of the target body parts to follow this mesh so let's just go ahead and with shift select the legs feet face torso body drag it and now just connect everything to the pin on target and now with that said we should be able to compile and also save go to viewport and now boom you can see that all of the body parts are matching exactly the animation and actually if i were to press play you can see that it will still work perfectly it will compile some shaders and boom everything is following up the only thing that we need to do is hide the mesh so we can select the mesh 
go to hidden in game or even better visibility so we don't have it also in the blueprint and just disable visibility and compile but you will notice one thing when we do this and is that when we press play all of a sudden the animations will work and this is because our bones will not be refreshed so we have this option to always take pose and to refresh bones even though the mesh is not visible because if not if it's not visible and it doesn't refresh the bones of the mesh our body bars which are chows would not get it but if we set this option to re always refresh bones boom everything just works great so now we just need two little things which is to you know pass the grooms and the LOD and also if you don't know what the leader post component really is doing is what just happened basically we set a leader bone component which is our mesh and then all the other target components will kind of follow up to this parent mesh and that's how we sync the animations and you can see they don't even have an animation blueprint and this is very important okay so now yes we can go back to JSON go and get all of this you know grooms copy and let's make sure that they're you know a child of face so go here select face control V they're not child of uh, face so drag them in and now make sure that all of them have this set to 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 okay and now they're here perfect as you can see and now I can compile and I cannot still see the hair from you know far away because of the LOD so let's go ahead and copy paste this component there we go and now you can see that we can play around with the number of LODs, the forced LOD, the minimum lot, and so on. So now if I just compile once again, press play, you will see that when I press play, we'll compile some shaders, I can see the hair and everything just works fine with my mustache and everything. And you can play with the LODs to get something working. As you can see, when I aim with my camera, the hair, you know, uh, just cranks up of uh, resolution so maybe what we can do is kind of just force the um, you know the min lot uh, or the number of LEDs to be less instead of eight we can maybe put two and now everything will be you know higher quality uh, now of course this will uh, heavily affect performance but because our player character is the main character and is quite important, we might not mind that. Uh, now, still, maybe, uh, okay, that did, we set it to 8. We cannot change that. Well, we actually want to change the forced LOD. Um, actually, at mm, 0, it will be with the highest quality. And minus 1 is just setting it to ignore the forced LOD. Uh, so we cannot change the max LODs, but we can change the force LOD and as you can see now it is always at LOD 0 which is the highest quality and if we had it at minus 1 like before basically there wasn't any force LOD it was by distance but now we have it like this now of course maybe you know mm, but, uh, performance quite affected I noticed it so actually maybe like LOD 2 will be a bit better or even something in between 1 as you can see with still detail in the hair can be something that we want but this is up to you, you can play around and it looks quite nice. I, I think that mm, one for me will work and I quite like it. As you can see, everything will still work and it looks absolutely fantastic. I, I, I love it. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it. You can like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that you have access to the perfect files to Patreon or YouTube members. Check out my new course with game that video how to make a stealth game in Unreal. I uh, join my Discord server to talk with me and other devs. Follow me on my socials. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.